I have a great relationship with my lab. How's yours? Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where we've put something together just for you newbies out there. We know how stressful it is making those first couple of phone calls or those first couple of computer entries to order surfaced work from the lab. So we put this video together to help ease the stress a little bit. We're gonna go through step-by-step step every bit of information that you need to have prepared to bring to the table, so to speak. And we're even gonna do a couple of mock phone calls so that you hear exactly what it should sound like. If you are catching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Catching us on Facebook, please give us a like and a comment and make sure that every lens comes from Laramie K. I am gonna run through this in several different ways, give you a couple scenarios, including those mock phone calls. Most of all, what I want you to take away is what this should sound like when you've done this a bunch of times before. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I can't even remember which video it was, I talked about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We're gonna go back to them once again because there is such a thing as too much information in this case, especially when you're starting out. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to bring to the table. There is, of course, not enough information, and that's a really scary place to be. If you leave out one or two of these 14 pieces, the lab's gonna to have to call you back. That could be lost time, lost money, and lost customer satisfaction. You know, it might be three minutes. They may call you right back and say, hey, you missed this and get that cleared up and you're on your way. That could easily become hours, days, or even weeks if things go south on you. You're not doing your job keeping up on things. Suddenly you've got a week lost and you've got an angry customer. It's not a good situation. So make sure you come to the table prepared with what you need. What do I mean by doing your job on your end? Well, tray checks. You're gonna get a status report from the lab saying these are the jobs that we have from your company that are being processed in our lab. You need to compare the report to the trays that you have waiting on your shelf. And just as important, every single morning, you need to compare the trays you have on your shelf to the status reports that you get from your various labs. It's not one or the other. You have to do both. Otherwise stuff goes missing for a really long time, which is not a good thing. If you have too much, not enough, then you must also have just the right amount of information. This is exactly what a call would sound like. And I mean this exactly, there's no pauses, no breaks. The phone, you pick it up, you dial, person picks it up on the other end. Here we go. Hello, this is John calling from 521-487. I need to place an order. This will be for patient Ronald Allen. These will be uncut. He is going into an Integrity Rogue Progressive in 1.60 with the ICE Clear AR. His right is a minus one, minus one, axis 89. His left is a minus one, minus 150, axis 87, with an add of 150. His PD is 3231. The height is 19. He is wearing a metal, full eye wire, Justin Belico 2219, with an A of 54, a B of 30, a DBL of 19, and an ED of 56. Customer service rep on the other end will read that back to you. You'll say, that's it and that job would then be in process at the lab. Now that took, I'm guessing maybe a minute, but you conveyed a lot of information in that one minute's time. I break each one of these down in much, much greater detail on the Optician Works website. We'll keep it a little bit uh, abbreviated for this video. You identified yourself, very important. So the lab person on the other end knows who they spoke with. 
You provide it an account number so it gets billed to the right place, and most importantly, it gets sent to the right place. You provide it a customer name so that, that those lenses end up in the right tray when they return to the store. You indicated whether you wanted that job finished, you were gonna send the frame and they were gonna cut it to match the frame or you're going to do it in-house, uncuts. You indicated the lens type. Do you want a progressive? Do you want a single vision? Do you want a line bifocal? This might be a place that you would include anything like photochromics, maybe a polarized. You indicated the lens material, polycarbonate, 160, 167, Tribex, whatever that might be. The AR, do you want AR, yes or no? And what type of AR? There are different brands, different styles, different levels. Obviously you had to provide the lens powers. You had to tell them what exactly you wanted made. You provided the appropriate customer PDs for the style of lens that you're doing. You provided either a fitting height or an OC height if you chose to provide one of those. You provided the frame type. Is this a semi-rimless, a full eye wire, a plastic, a metal? You provided the frame make and model, so you can always go back to it. You have a record of where that frame went, what, what, what that frame was, if you needed to remake it for some reason. You provided frame measurements. You heard that, A, B, DBL. We are also going to ask you for the shape, hopefully a trace. We're gonna want the ED, an accurate ED, done correctly from the boxing system, and you would get us that shape either by taking a picture of it, scanning it, tracing it, whatever it might be. So just be prepared. This is most of almost everything that you need to bring to the table before you ever go picking up that phone, sitting down to enter a job on the computer or filling out a form to fax it off to the lab. While I think of it, I keep going on about phone calls and what the phone call will sound like. At Laramie K, we actually like people calling us. Of course, we have online ordering just like everybody else does. Now, for somebody who's new, and this is so, so important, the customer service people at Laramie K are there to help. They're not there to take orders. These are people with years and years of experience in the optical industry. They are working at the lab. They are not order takers. They are really customer service representatives there to help you. So don't be scared. That's what they're there for. Let's head into the office. Let's see if Jan is available for a phone call and we're gonna record a couple of sessions in different ways. One experienced, one not so experienced so that you can hear what this sounds like. All right, I am just waiting a minute while they find Jan on the other end for our phone call. I understand we're having a little bit of a technical problem on that end, so this is going to be an audio-only session, and that's really okay. In fact, this might be best if you close your eyes and just simply really listen to our conversation. Hey, thanks for calling. This is Janet at Laramie K. Can I help you? Hey, Janet, it's John. Do you have time to do a few role play calls with me? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Why don't we start off with what a call might sound like if I tried calling in a job with no experience at all. Does that sound okay? Sure. Hi, this is Janet at Laramie K. Can I help you? Hi, uh, this is John calling from Optician Works, and I need some progressive lenses with AR. Okay. The prescription uh, in the right. I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say I can help you with that. Is this um, Optician Works in South Carolina? Oh yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, it, it, yep, that's okay. us. Uh, the prescription in the right eye is a minus seventy five, minus two, axis eighty nine. The prescription in the left eye is a minus 250, minus 150 at 30. His PD is 32 in the right and 31 in the left. And I got a fitting height of 13. It's usually Sally that I talk to, right, from your store? Uh, yeah, um, Sally's out and so is the other girl. I don't even know her name yet. It's like my second day here and I'm completely on my own. I was going to leave this for them, but the customer said they were in a really big hurry. So Sally's not there, and you said that it's like your first or second day. Can we kind of start over from the beginning again? Sure. Okay. I've got the prescription. I am going to need a an ad power on that if it's a progressive. Okay. It's a 150. Okay. 
Am I going to assume that we're going to use the same type of progressive that Sally would normally call in on this? Um, yes. Yeah. Whatever, whatever we, whatever they use here. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a specific material that you want on it? I'm, I thought with the, the minus 250, probably like a 160. Okay. I'll take a look at that. What kind of frame information do you have? A frame size, like an A and a B and the bridge size? Uh, yep. Oh, hang on. Let me find that frame. It's an A of 44. DBL of 22, a B of 38, an ED of 45. Okay. And a shape on it? I mean, it sounds like it's kind of more of a round than round or a square, something like that. Um, yeah, I would call it a round, very much so. Okay. Yeah. And AR coding on that. I know you guys usually use a premium AR, but I just want to double check. Yeah, it looked. I, I think I saw that in his file. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Do you want me to put a patient name or a train number on that for you? Um, sure. Um, it's uh, Robert. I do have a question for you. Taking a look at the order, I think one six zero would be more than adequate for that power that you've got. I noticed that you've got a 38B measurement, but I've got a seg height of 13. That seems a little bit low for what we normally see in a progressive. Normally, we'd see something around 17 or 18 at least with that type of a B measurement. Can I have you double check that for me? Uh, that would be 18, not 13. Okay. Read, read, my, read the... PD ah, stick those, those dumb PD sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I said, I'm doing the best I can here. Yeah, yeah it's fine. We'll take care of you. Oh, um, thanks. Let me read it back and I'll go slow. And sure. if I if I say anything that is wrong or contradictory to what you have written down, just stop me and say, hey, okay. So All this, right. this one is going to be for patient Robert. And I have a right lens of minus 75 minus 2 at 89. I have a left lens of minus 250, minus 150 at 30. It's a 150 add. The seg is 18 high. The monocular PDs are 32 over 31. For this prescription, we would do the Rebel Advanced with an Ultra AR, and we're going to use a 160 material. And the frame that it's going into is a 4422 frame. The B is 38, BD on it is 45, and it's a round shape. And that's a full frame, correct? Not a rimless or anything? It's a full eye wire plastic. Okay. I got everything you got? That sounds like it. Okay. All right. And um, I, all the trays here use last name. So why don't we put Smith there okay. instead of Robert, just in case on our end. But um, if Sally has any questions, she'll probably give you a call tomorrow. Oh, it'll be done by then. Oh, okay. But, okay. okay. <laughs> well, right, yeah, right. We'll get it rushed right. through and get it out to you so we can make your patient happy. Okay. Great. Thanks. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you calling. It's nice to meet you, John. I, I think we'll be talking again. Sorry about the, the confusion today, but uh, I'll get it. No problem at all. <laughs> all right. All right. You have a good one. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Did you hear how incredibly awkward that was? Did you hear how long it took to convey the information? Did you hear how prone to mistakes that kind of phone call can be? Look, if these are your first few phone calls to the lab, it probably means that you have a new job. This isn't a good time to have your name tied to a job that gets delayed by a day, a week, or a month. Really bad idea. So just make sure you come to the phone prepared with the information you need, the stuff we've just been talking about, before calling the lab. All right, let's um, show people or let them hear what a phone call should sound like when both ends of the phone have been doing this for a while. Okay. Hi, thanks for calling Laramie Kay. This is Janet. Can I help you? 
Hey, Jenna, it's John from Optician Works. Hello there. How are you doing today? Good. I need to place an order. Are you ready? I am ready. This will be for customer Jamal Washington. These will be uncut. He is going into an Integrity Rebel Progressive in a 1.67 with your ICE Clear AR. His right is a minus 4, minus 125 at 89. His left is a minus 350, minus 150 at 87. We've got an add of 150. His PD is a 32 over 31 with a height of 19. And he is wearing a metal a semi-rimless Moto 2219 with an A of 56, a B of 33, a DBL of 20, and an ED of 58. And you should be getting an email right now with a picture of the frame and a tracing of the lens. Okay. Let me read this back to you. going to be for Jamal Washington. And I've got a right lens of minus four, minus one and a quarter at 89. The left is a minus 350, minus 150 at 87. A 150 add, 19 high. The mono PDs are 32 over 31. I've got a Rebel in 167 with ICE AR. And that's going to be going into a 5620 frame. The B is 33. ED is 58. It's a groove grimless, and we're going to be tracing to follow. It's going to be on 657, 720. Not that you're going to check on it. You know that. Right. <laughs> we are good to go. Thanks so much, Janet. I got to run. All right. I appreciate your phone call. Thanks very much. All right. Talk to you All soon. Right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week. And now that you know how to make that phone call, why not go ahead and dial that number right there, uh, 1-800-525-1274. Open an account with Laramie K and start getting some of the best lenses in the world. See, if I say I have a great relationship with my Beagle, it doesn't really work the same way. So you are not the star of this one.